guys, it's Allie from The Geek Awakens, and this week I'm taking a break to respond to some of your comments, because I love you. My producer Matt is gonna read some of the great comments that you've left on our Facebook and YouTube pages. Are you ready? I know I'm not. On the Jaws episode, Matt Browning says, after Jaws, there was an increase in shark hunting due to paranoia to the point of making sharks in danger. Did you know that? I did not know that. I hope that the sharks are okay. I just saw a video this week about whales that tried to eat a seal, so like maybe whales are the problem. Whales are the worst. Whales, whales are the worst. Are great white sharks still endangered? Great white sharks are not endangered. The number of predators is 10 times higher than previously thought. Daily Mail says we're okay. <laughs> Do you like endangered sharks? But are you also curious about what Kate Middleton wore yesterday? Well, we have the site for you. Domen C okay. says, damn, this was hard to watch. You're just awful. That's probably my mom who left that comment. Your mom goes by Domen C on YouTube. Probably, she's a rough lady. There's a lot of controversy about our Blade Runner episode. I knew this was gonna come up. A lot of hate for that one. A lot of disagreement, let's say. Yes. People felt that you were not able to put the movie in the context of its time. Yes. And two, that you watched the version available on Netflix, which was not the director's cut. I didn't know. Netflix has really not been fair to me. I do feel like even if I watch the correct version, I'm not gonna be like, whoa, this is life changing. I'm so glad that I watched this horrible movie again. Grayson L commented on the Ghostbusters episode and says, wait up, slap bracelets? The real MVP here. Fun fact about snap bracelets, you cannot buy just one single snap bracelet anymore. You have to buy them in bulk. I have 50 of them. If you would like to receive one of Allie's official Geekwagons. I'll snap even flakes. snap it so you can get some of my skin flakes. Email us, send us your address, and we will, Allie will personally send you one of our snap bracelets. Grayson L also says, I suck because you made me laugh pretty effing hard, ma'am. Thank you, I appreciate that. Um, I love the comments, I love that you subscribe. Please don't call me ma'am, I'm not that old. Sebastian F says, you are a millennial question mark? I am an 80s kid and you look like you could be my mom. I'm also an 80s kid, I'll have you know. So I'm not that old, so calm it down. Slow your roll, kid. And like, sure, I could have kids, but I, I don't. If I wanted to, I could have kids. You are of childbearing age. You're not 12. Right. I'm not 12, but I'm also not like 50. Not that there's anything wrong with being 50. I'm just not 50. The internet is harsh. The internet is rough. If Sebastian F is an 80s kid and you were his mom, you would have had to have kids when you were like five. Yeah. Which is doable, but it would be weird. Yume Kitten Tube asks, have you seen The Last Starfighter? It was one of my favorites growing up. I have never even heard of that before. Uh, is it animated? Is it real people? Is it Muppets? A lot of people had a beef with you comparing Star Wars and Star Trek. Star Trek is science fiction and Star Wars is science fantasy. I enjoyed both of the star genres. This is a comment from Meg Skywalker. Uh, no relation. Are you sure? Meg says, Falcor isn't a dog. Bastion is cute as F, just like Atreyu is hot as F, but Falcor is not an effing dog for F's sake. Meg, let's talk about this. If you've seen other dragons like Game of Thrones, that's a dragon. Falcor has fur. Again, I'm not a scientist here, but I think that crosses the line of like dragonness. You know what does have fur though? My dog. Also floppy ears. Andrew Braid says, great video. I've been really enjoying this series so far. Have you seen The Iron Giant? No, I have not seen it. I can imagine the poster in my mind. Although that might be James and the Giant Peach. Is there a peach involved in The Iron Giant? Yogin Varma commented, please make new vids, please. Like this one? Led Zed seems to think that we have a huge team and that we are making tons of money. Our team that does these videos is a team of two. 
Usually uh, it's me and Matt. We have a fabulous person who helps us uh, write things to make me funnier than I normally am. I love that you think that I make a lot of money. Is it because my fashion choices are really good? This is not a super lucrative business making YouTube videos. You can also send me money if you want. And if you would like to send us money, uh, please use this email address. It's the Geek Awakened Show at Gmail. You can send money through Gmail. Oh yeah, no, definitely just do that. Don't, please don't send me a check. The Stony Zone comments on the Matrix episode, what if I told you that Morpheus never says, what if I told you? Does Morpheus say, what if I told you? <gasps> the line, what if I told you, was never heard in any of the Matrix films. Well, my life is a lie. For many reasons, this is just another that I'm adding to the list. John T says, John T. I dig the anchor necklace. Hey, I don't have it on today. I have this one that says Taken, because I really like that Liam Neeson movie. I will kill you. Christopher Craig. Um, is that your real name, Christopher? Never trust someone who has two first names. We did a silly gag in the Matrix episode. There is no spoon. There is no spoon? Oh, son of a. And Christopher Craig called it out and said that it was comedy gold. I think he's being sarcastic. Okay, here's the thing. I took it as a compliment and I don't want you to ruin that. Tacky Trans commented on the Ghostbusters episode, I like her fat feet, hashtag fetish awakens. That's a little weird. Like you literally saw my feet for like two seconds and I had socks on. So like you don't know what's underneath those socks. They could look like hobbit feet, and they do. Mephosto says, I was born in 83. How did you not see this at least once on VHS? Uh, that's the point of this show. Meg Leanne McPherce. If that's your real name, Meg, that I'm is I'm awesome. real jealous of that name. I know that this is just a movie, and I know you are more likely to die from a cow attack than from a shark attack. I'm gonna have to look that up. Sharks are terrifying because of all the teeth. Have you ever seen a cow's teeth? Me either. And you can also tip cows, which I don't recommend doing because apparently they die. But like, if you push a cow and it falls on you, what were you doing? You would have to be pulling the cow towards you, wanting to die. Suicide by cow. Suicide by cow, which I don't recommend. Jesse Garza comments on Facebook, I literally watch this channel when I need something to hate. Literally. Literally? At least we're serving some purpose for you. I mean, I'll take views anyways I can get them. Jordan Dell comments on Facebook, watched three seconds, got annoyed. You should watch at least 10. 10 is when I really start to piss people off. Like three is just like, oh, she's kind of annoying. But if you go the full 10, then you'll really learn to hate me. Jonathan Everly asks, is this video supposed to be funny? Yes. Supposed to be funny. Also, my mom doesn't watch them because she can't find them on Facebook. Like they don't show in her feed. But why, when I go to my page, does your stuff not show up? And I'm like, it's your page. <laughs> it's your stuff. If you go to my page, you'll see my stuff. So that works. Kate Harrington. Kate Harrington, that's my friend. Is she related to Kate Harrington? She is not that I know of. She says, like your shirt, winky face. Yeah, she does. Nicole Diaz says, The Matrix is my favorite movie of all time, hands down. That's, it is a pretty good movie. I don't know if it's my favorite movie of all time, but you know what I could watch a hundred times? Newsies, which is my favorite movie of all time. Tomorrow they may wrap fishes in it, but I was a star for one whole minute. Also, I love 13 going on 30. Don't judge me, it's a really good movie. Thanks for watching. I'm gonna be gone for a few weeks because I'm going on a vacation that I actually won on The Price is Right. We asked you what I should watch next and an overwhelming number of you said The Dark Crystal. Spoiler alert, that movie is strange. Please keep watching, tell me what I should be watching next. We love your comments. And until next time, stay weird, internet.